Everybody, I'm back with another live recap. Uh, this is the Cincinnati Reds at Pittsburgh Pirates to end up the year. So, uh, did Saturday and Sunday of this past weekend. Did decently well. Did uh, arrival on Saturday. Got uh, Joel Kunal on the Cincinnati Reds team set card. Got Kirk Sally, who's really nice. Got him on his heritage. And this guy did uh, one of three. And the only time I ever saw him do, saw him sign uh, Tucker Barnhart. But happy again. You know, big leader. Nice autograph. And I was also able to get uh, Caleb Cotham on 2 of 2. He was assistant pitching coach. So that was nice getting him. I was able to get uh, Philip Byrne. 1 of 2. And uh, Mike Lorenzen. One of three, it's one pair, but he's really nice. Gave a nice uh, up inscription on there, too. So, this is a really nice autograph from him. Uh, Jimmy Hergit on one. Yeah, and this one's actually really surprised to get signed because uh, this next guy's kind of tough, but uh, happy to get it nonetheless. He signed for everyone, uh, Jose Iglesias. So, that was really nice to get him. Uh, Lee Tanel. Did a three of three. He's a really nice guy. And then I got Alex Blandino. He did two of three. So I got him on his heritage from last year. And then he finished up a duel for me. I got Brand Dixon on at the start of the year. So kind of cyclical. And then Kyle Farmer. He was super cool. He would sign anything. Yeah, I got him on two. Another new big leaguer. And then I uh, saw a Pirates relief pitcher, Chris Stratton. So he did one of three. But I've never gotten him before, so I was happy about adding his autograph collection. Uh, still a rival, uh, Robert Stevenson. He's two per, but I only had the one card for him. I've seen him a bunch in the minors. He doesn't really have a ton of Major League stuff. Uh, Raziel Iglesias, one per. So he did the 17 Heritage for me. We got a uh, broadcaster, Jeff Brantley. He did one of uh, nine. And then I went to the Pirates Fan Festival and did uh, Al, Al Oliver. He was doing that two per. Missed the guy who I really wanted, Jim Rooker, but oh well. And I went inside and pitchers were throwing on the field um, on the Pirates side. So I got Keone Kelly. He was doing a two per. He was actually really nice inside the stadium. He uh, wasn't so nice outside the stadium the couple times I saw him, but. He did two inside, and then he didn't really care, so I went up to him again, and he signed two more. And then I got uh, Parker, Mark, Markel. And the uh, next guy I've had this card for a while, so I'm happy to finally get signed. Michael Fleas, new autograph for me, so that's nice. And I was really surprised this guy was signing. Uh, he, when he was with the Pirates previously, I had never really got him a bunch. Got him twice, I think. But got Francisco Liriano. He signed uh, two of two. And then I got um, Jeff Hartloop. Two of two. And then Alex McCray. He did three of three. So really happy to do well with these Pirate Pitchers. And then I got William Urez. And lastly, got, oh, got Jeffrey Ramirez, who I tried to talk about watching him play with the Tides, but I guess he didn't believe me that I actually saw him. And then Steven Brault. So clean up pretty well with the Pirate pitchers. And then went over to the red side as their pitchers were on the field, just throwing. They never did BP this weekend. But I got a Kiri Mello on one. Tyler Malley. He was actually signing whatever. So he signed the four cards I had for him. I'm kind of disappointed. I forgot his two-person place, two person heritage card that I already had Jackson Stevenson signed. So I could have had that finished. But I forgot to bring it. But I'm still happy to add his autograph to the collection. And then uh, this guy I've seen before. But on uh, that Saturday night, he got his first RBI, his first win, and his first major league hit. Mr. Uh, Ruben Alaniz, because of the R.J. Alaniz. 
And I also got Michael Lorenzen again. So you have a little bit of a faster autograph and no bottle verse. It's still really nice. He signed for a while. And then this next dude, he did it up. Uh, he signed down the whole rail. He probably signed for a good 15, 20 minutes. Uh, Trevor Bauer. And uh, he wasn't paying attention, so after a while I went back up, got him to sign again. So, a lot of respect for Trevor. I don't think he really likes to do it, but he hooks it up. And then post game, uh, we could have done really well, but the game did get done to one. And um, so that kind of sucked. But I uh, saw Francisco Liriano. I only brought three cards for him because in the past I never had much luck with him. But he signed my last card. Could have had, he was normally two per. And I saw him the next day, but I didn't have anything for him. And then I also got um, Jose Ozuna. He did two or three on the Indians team set card. And uh, this tops. And then I saw a bunch of red guys walk by. But uh, since it was so late, no one really stopped. But this next guy I got, I think, Jose Iglesias for. He came up with like a little um, bike that drives people around in the back. With uh, this next guy, they met a couple girls at the and uh, after they got done interacting, we asked this guy to sign, and he did it. He kind of hate scribbled his autograph, so he pressed really hard on the pen, but got Joey Votto. So I was really happy about adding uh, his autograph to the collection. So that made the trip worth it, again, Joey. It was really fun, uh, funny kind of watching him interact. So that made the trip right there. And then the next day, I did a rival around the park stadium. And I got Jose, Iglesi or Jose Ozuna. He signed my last card. And then this next guy I was super happy to get. He's one of the pirates I wanted to get. Uh, Milky Brer coming in the stadium. He did one of three. Uh, since I don't think he'll be a pirate next year, he's had a really good career. Happy to add him. Then I got Dario Agrizol. He did two of two. Uh, Brian Hickerson on one. And Ryan Long. They're there as extra coaches. Got them. And then I went back and uh, kind of the red side. And I got Raziel Iglesias again. And then I got Alex Blandino on two more. And then lastly, for arrival, I got Delano Del Shields again. I have to say, um, most of the red guys are pretty nice. The only really toughies are. Uh, Aquino, Stevie's Aquino, he just doesn't really acknowledge people that much. He signs before the games, but he just gets a crowd for no reason around him. It's kind of tough. Uh, Suarez is a little tough, but he does sign too. Uh, the guys that are really tough though, like I never saw Kevin Gausman sign or Alex Wood. But then uh, pre-game, before the game, Trevor Bauer, he actually signed down the line again. So I got him again, and I didn't really try to dip him again. Over to the pirate side, I got Chris Archer on one. So, really happy about that. He like uh, hit top of the card with the Sharpie when he uh, handed it back to me. But, still happy to get him. Never got his autograph on card before. And then I got James Marvel. He did three of four. So, happy to get his autograph. And then Kevin Newman came over. He was signing, but he ran with a black Sharpie. So I didn't put out the heritage card I had of him, so I was gonna send the this year's top rookie card of him. But still happy to add his autograph again. And then uh, last autograph of the day, I could have had Vado again, but I didn't rush over in the crowd. But I stayed over on the pirate side. Um, we saw Cole Tucker coming out the night before. Um, he came with a bunch of guys, but Keone Kello basically told us that none of them were gonna sign. And then coming in that day. Again, Keone Kelly told us that he wasn't going to let Cole Tucker sign. But then uh, pre-game, he was signing. He did three per for me. So, I'll take it. So, happy you guys are graphic again. So, yep, that is the recap. So, overall, not a bad trip. Didn't do as well this year as it did with the Brewers, but still pretty well. So, that's an end to the baseball season. I'll have a couple other things before uh, the year ends. But, uh, thanks for watching. Peace.